Hello everybody. Welcome back to Ace Combat 6 DLC Showcase. Uh, this is episode 3. And today we're going to be showing off some fan favorites. Um, the glorious A-10A Thunderbolt 2, affectionately known as the Warthog. Yes, Phoenix, you made it for the beginning. Um, the mission we're going to be uh, showing these uh, beautiful aircraft off is Sea John Silvat, because there's a shit ton of ground forces all conveniently packed in close proximity um, for our glorious Lord and Savior RCL to uh, um, rain salvation upon. Yeah, Arusha has uh, their Torres. Ameria has our Lord and Savior RCL. I know which one I would root for. We've got a large. All right, so we're not going to fly the blaze plane, but we're still going to look at it. Um, got three. So, as we can see from our stats and stuff, this is a tank meant to kill ground targets. Um, and it does that phenomenally well. In fact, outside of the Nosferatu, 2, um, nothing kills ground targets better than the A-10. Um, the Estevakian army fears this aircraft. And in fact, a large portion of the Estevakian Navy does. Hello, Floof! Welcome! Um, so we can see we have defense pretty much maxed. Um, along with our air-to-ground. Stability is about, I want to say, a 60. And all of our other stats kind of are minimal. We've got... Not a lot of speed, not a lot of maneuverability, and almost no air-to-air -air capability to speak of. But we're armed with uh, RCLs, FABs, and XAGMs. It's so great. Um, but the first aircraft we're actually going to fly today is the Thunder Shark. The Shark Mouth Aircraft. Severe sacrifice has been made to speed and maneuverability to facilitate an unprecedented number of armaments. The Shark Mouth is one of the most recognized of all Nozart and is loved for its brash and ferocious style. Now, if we look at the radar stat chart, um, our defense doesn't change. We get a massive increase to air to air, plus 30 points. Air to ground is already max, so we don't get any bonus for that. <clears throat> um, but we lose <clears throat> five points of our already non-existent mobility, five points of our all already non-existent speed, and 15 points of our stability, which doesn't seem like much compared since we're still almost half or at 50%, but as you'll find out later on, um, we basic, what these stat changes basically mean is we doubled our weight. And high weight com combined with low speed equals you start to fall. Um, but all of our weapons, from the Sidewinders to the RCLs, or the, the LAU-68Ds, the Mark 79s, and the uh, Mavericks, they're all doubled. <coughs> Hello, Geo. Did you say Thunderhead was the first one you're going to fly? Um, no. Although this one is kind of a blockhead. <laughs> uh, we are going to start 
with Fireball. And then we'll move on to RCL. How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. All right, we'll go ahead and start here. All planes, listen up. Our forces are completely surrounded over a wide area. But We've if I sectors of operation to concentrate on, use your radar look at how much altitude I'm losing just by rolling. You better move. Our forces could get wiped out at any second now. This aircraft Return. is so heavy. Legs, to keep them <laughs> so heavy. Return to base if you need supplies. No use fighting on an empty stomach. The shark mouth is chunkers. Where did you get that emote, Floof? It looks awesome. Dummy thick, yep. Arcadia. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, we're not going very fast. I mean, the A-10 isn't fast to begin with, but because we chonkers, we even more slow now. Already about three or four minutes in the mission, and we're just now coming up on our first operation. Tracking the bombs. Enemy hit. <laughs> bye bye. The Stobies are after our runway. I even got some of the choppers that were uh, hanging out too low to the ground. Oh god. Let's get Enemy front level down. Keep it up, Garuda team. Protect that runway at all costs. We Garuda one, ESM is active. Bombing aircraft will never get old. All planes, the runway in this airspace is clear for landing. Take advantage if you need help. Requesting response from all aircraft who could head to the airport. We can't give up control. We're not. I've basically annihilated all the enemy resistance. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and land. And switch to our Lord and Savior Asiel. Oh. 
Hello. God, we're so heavy. <laughs> Fire balloons. Only A10. A10 is life. <laughs> So heavy. It's like I don't want to fly. I feel so bloated. going to be shooting me. Oh no. It's not like I can take a full nuke and laugh it off with my enormously high defense. support now! Hey, we almost got this place under control. Gee, Dragon Busters, your, uh, your faith in me is, uh... Barracuda, you're probably gonna die. Not gonna lie. And Floof has contributed to the evil Mass Effect campaign. Thank you. We are at 73%. 183,478. Oh, nope. We just got raised again. 185,478 out of 250. Okay. You're fine. But stay alert. The worst is yet to come. Okay. Well, not a very good dog fighter. If any fighters come to play in our fight, a turn and burn fight, they will get gunned down. And Hello, Strigan. Shamrock kill. Oh god. Watch out. The enemy has a lock on you. 
think Shamrock's already took it out to the Strigans. Recently played Six a few weeks ago. I love Six. Six is my favorite of them all. It was also my first. Alright, kill it! No, not Strigon 11. Strigon 11. Let me shoot you with the Burt! But... <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go ahead and switch back to fireballs. Because there isn't any, really any armored stuff left. Not much. Commencing lock on. Fox two. Connecting ESM for Garuda one. Yeah. I'm not really a big fan of this version of the A10 because it's so slow. Even for an A10. And it's so heavy that whenever you try and turn close to the ground there you you will crash if you're not careful because you lose altitude when you turn can you drop no you can't That's physically impossible for you to do. You can't drop bombs while you're upside down. Oh! Whoa! What'd I tell you? Oh, whoa! <laughs> Look at that recovery! Somebody clip that! Upside down. Can't. Enemy plane down. I have him. Can't handle the balloon. Where's the friggin' team? Fox two. Hehehe, <laughs> Kapu. I cast fireball. Enemy hit. Oh, those are armor targets. That's fine. That just means I have to cast it again. Maximize fireball. This mission is going well. All forces. <laughs> EXPLOSION! <laughs> Thank you, Phoenix. Releasing FAE bomb. Make it, will it make it, will it make it? Enemy Kaboom! The threat level for remaining Estabakian forces <laughs> is down to about 60%. <laughs> Fire! Watch out! They've got a lock on you from the ground! Oh no! 
The threat level for remaining Estovakian forces is about 40%. <laughs> <laughs> I love the A-10. It is such a great aircraft. Talisman is locked on. That was fast, Talisman. There shall be no other Burts besides me. Blood. Blood. Blood for the blood gods. Enemy facility reduced to rubble. The threat level for remaining Estovakian forces is down to about 20%. <laughs> On planes, this is a hell of a dance. Keep up those nice that, that's what happens when you use a gun designed to rip holes in tank armor and use it against aircraft. It just rips through them like a hot knife through butter. No! More dancing! More fire! Besieged unit is now free, and enemy. Now that this boost in power enables us to continue <laughs> we, advancing, we east, only got a B on nation, objective echo around because military. we killed everything we too fast. <laughs> we couldn't let the reinforcements spawn in so we could kill them. A10 too fast at killing. Please nerf. All right, that was Thunder Shark. Now, Distant Thunder, an aircraft with thoroughly reworked design and anti-aircraft capability that allows it to hold its own in air combat. Its lighter body is less durable than the previous design, but allows for increased weapons payload. Use your increased firepower to strike down the enemy like a bolt of lightning. Um, this one is. Inspired off the SP color for the YAB-10 from uh, Ace Combat 5. As you can see, it has OADF markings, the War Dog emblem, and the O16 code for Blaze. Um, also, uh, if we look at our stats, you'll see a lot has changed. Um... We have gained 25 points in mobility, 10 points in speed. In fact, this is the only, uh, or one of the only A-10, uh, variants that actually did get speed boosts. Um, we also gained 20 points in air-to-air -air and, believe it or not, 5 points in air-to-ground. However, this comes at a cost. We lose 40 of our defense. We basically took off our armor and said, okay, fly. Um, but all is not lost. We did gain in weapons. We gained 50 AIM-9 Sidewinders, 15 more volleys of the LAU-68 uh, rockets, uh, 15 more Mark 79 firebombs and five more uh, Maverick missiles, uh, AGM 65. Um, also, you'll you'll find out that our uh, missiles are now in smoke blue, and just for that effect, we're going to start with Which the Mavericks. How about my weaponry? Are we ready? Garuda team, time to take off. Listen up. 
but just look at how fast we're going compared to the eight, uh, to the Thunder Shark. Already, I can feel that speed. I mean, we're still slow compared to pretty much everything else, but we are motoring for an A10. Yeah, have you ever seen an A-10 go this fast? Did you even think that an A-10 could go this fast? <laughs> Hello, Psycho Samurai. We've breached a hundred, or we've breached a thousand knots. That's how fast we're going. Enemy tank destroyed. And all it cost us was our armor. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm, I'm playing my favorite Ace Combat game with one of my favorite aircraft in the, in the game. And this is uh, actually one of my favorite DLC variants for it, so it's, it's all good. Sure, how to take those Jim Pickens emotes. Jim Pickens terrifies me. Enemy threat level down. Keep it up, Garuda team. <laughs> I think Shamrock's going after Strigan. He's already got at least two. Uh, Floof was actually the one that introduced me to Call Me Kevin and, by extension, Jim Pickens. Didn't you, Floof? An A-10 that can do high G maneuvers. <laughs> Although, to be fair, we'll, we'll find A-10s, or we'll be flying A-10s that can do even more crazy maneuvers later on. Does flu flock people in basements too? I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't want to know. But let's just put it this way. If flu ever told me that, yeah, he's uh, locked things in basements, I wouldn't be entirely shocked. Any 
God, that looks so cool. When you're taking off with the AAA blaring. Oh, it's so good. Dragon Busters have lost about 40% of their forces. They can't do this alone. Oh, they'll be fine. I have faith in them. Yep, I read you. It's not looking good. Air Force, we've been closed in by enemy forces. Please help. We're completely surrounded. We're heading back to the East City. Take out all enemy forces along the bridge. Stop stalling. Just throw the team to care of the enemy forces at the rear. Grizzly Battalion is moving forward. Hey, I gave you help last time. It's somebody else's turn. She'll have no other birds besides me. And now I'm going to demonstrate this uh, aircraft's anti-aircraft potential. We're doing the dogfighting operation. That's right, dog fight in A10, let's go! Gun kill! Gun kill! Well, there goes another Strigan. Enemy forces are down to 30%. Garuda team, finish them off. Are you not entertained? Enemy forces have dropped to 30%. Just a little more, Garuda team. <laughs> Missile evaded. Oh, oh, last dragon, last dragon. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, bring it. You are no match for me and the power of the bird. Careful now. The enemy has you on radar. I may or may not be having a little too much fun with this. But it's the A10, can you blame me? There we go. Shamrock, Roger that. I'll back you up. Enemy forces within Operation Airspace have gotcha. been eliminated. Nice work. See? Who said that the A-10 can't be a dogfighter? We've received a telegram <laughs> from HQ Command. Your to-go 
after an Estovakian unit that's just started pulling out of action. I'm a lot better at chasing than being chased. All ground units are to spread out and close in on the Estovakian unit. Show no mercy. Dragon Busters Roger. Time to get close and personal. Aerial tank battalion confirms. The gang's all here. Trooper battalion, Roger. We got your back. A10 versus F22. Uh, this A10? I, I'm actually deciding with the A10. I'm holding my ground. The hell with our orders. Is this the day of all? Looks like I missed out on all the action. All forces, fight to the death for this man. Give them a taste of the Estovakian pride. Secondary Lord and Savior. <laughs> What's your first salty? Or what's the primary Lord and Savior? Because I mean, this is RCL. So I, I confused. Oh. Yeah, but this is strange real. Commencing full rocket fire. Armored vehicle destroyed. All right. I don't know if, uh, or what, uh, real life religions are in Strange Real. Because a lot of real life religions are based off of our history and culture, which is not Strange Real's history and culture. So I don't know how much of that will transfer over. <sighs> Alright. I want fire. Who else wants fire? Fire for the fire gods. Take off complete. Good luck up there. You want ice? I uh, can't give you that. But I can't guarantee it's going to be a dry heat. Oh yeah, Nepal, baby. Boop. Boop. I, I love watching the bombs like this. God, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Stricken team dead. This mission is going well. All forces, keep the pressure on. That was Don't give me that sky kid. It's past your bedtime. Like two volleys of napalm bombs and just destroyed all of the mission update targets. God, I love this aircraft.
Our besieged unit S is rank. Now, free. now that our unit has been free, this we all pilots, best of luck. <laughs> the one time attackers have purpose. I know, right? Okay. For our next aircraft on the list, um, we stick with Ace Five. Those troops are isolated with no means of re And go from distant thunder to Ra's Grease. Now, like all Ra's Grease aircraft, um, this one has the same tweaks. It increases the defense, but we're already at max anyway, so this is just adding to a max defense. We're not dying at all. Um, we have plus 10 to our stability, minus 10 to all of our offensive capabilities, both air to air and air to ground. But they didn't alter the gun, so we still have Bert, and we still have our Lord and Savior RCL. Which doesn't need a lock on. Um, but yeah. Even on ace difficulty, this thing can take multiple missile strikes. It is that tough. Talisman, which plane should I pick? How about my weapon? Are we ready to fly with these planes? RCL. We can do RCL only. Now, we're back to being the normal speed of the A-10. So we're gonna have... We're not gonna be as good of a dogfighter. But with our... Uh, our thick... Armor, uh, aircraft aren't really going to be a problem anyway. Garuda One, destroy enemy aircraft. Shamrock's engaging. Run from the bullets! Run! Not fast enough. Entirely sure why some people don't like this mission. I love it just because of all the enemies and close, closely packed. You can rack up insane kill counts relatively quickly. And aside from the really slow start, it gets really hectic really quick. All right, here we go. Get out there and hit what you can. Shamrock, kill. Where's Goose? I don't know. This is a single seater, so I don't think he's here. Hey, two! Excuse me. Top Gun always has to have a goose. Well, where is he gonna sit? There's only one, uh, one seat. It's only a seat for one person. The rest of the plane is being taken up by uh, the Almighty Burn. Enemy threat level down. Keep it up, Garuda team. Protect that runway at all costs. I'm gonna rocket these guys. 
<laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Um, Ace Combat is as close to a video game Top Gun as you're going to get. I don't know if there's much left for... I mean, we could probably true res him. But anything short of true resurrection I don't think would work. I don't think there's enough of the body left for uh, raise dead or reincarnate. Oh no, I got hit with two missiles. And I'm only at 26% damage. Ow, that hurt. Jesus! Yeah, we got nailed by an XAM and I think Strigan at the same time, and we only took just over a quarter damage. This thing is beefy as shit. If uh, this A-10 was a Mass Effect class, this would be the Sentinel. It's like, I don't... I don't feel that. That, that too good. Dragon Busters have lost about 40% of their forces. They can't do this alone. Actually, for me, Chopper was one of my medium or average scoring wingmen. Believe it or not, but one the the taking Swordsman out of the equation because um, he doesn't get that many opportunities. Edge was actually the worst for me. I think. I'll have to relook. The Rasker is 8 dead. <laughs> what was that? I barely felt that. That was two aphids! It is but a flesh I didn't even dodge. It's like, ah, uh, yeah, whatever. I'll be fine.
That might be. But then again, um, all five or all four wingmen with their uh, in, in five with their percentage totals compared to blazes, they have the same kill ratio as Shamrock uh, does with Talisman. Nine percent. I mean, if I directly compared kills, that wouldn't be fair, because A6 gives you a lot more chances to kill things, and I play A6 a lot more, so my kill counts are higher, but the percentages are what I'm comparing, and Shamrock consistently gets about 9% of the kills between, or of Garuda team. Um... Which is the same as all the Ace 5 wingmen combined. Also, keep in mind that Shamrock and Talisman are having to compete for kills with the Amerian military. Ah. And the Amerian military consistently gets about. I want to say 40% of the kills every mission, which means that uh, Garuda team gets 60% of that, and 9% of that 60% is Shamrock. Radar lock. I've done maths, and it hurt. I hope you're happy. <laughs> I love doing that. Bye bye. Yet, I, I don't know how to get Pixie and PJ's kill ratios. I haven't figured that one out yet. Then I haven't bothered to devote the time on doing it. This mission is going well. All forces keep the pressure on. But I would say that Pixie's is closer, are going to be closer to Shamrock's. Whereas PJ is might have one kill for every hundred that Cypher gets. That might be. Um, PA might have programmed the uh, Ace Fighting Wingman to get hits rather than kills. But since they uh, count towards your kill total anyway, I don't know why they would. Because I can guarantee you Shamrock is programmed to kill. If you don't kill something fast enough, he will. Yeah, in terms of flying the Rosgris A-10, the main difference that you'll notice is you're slightly more stable. 
Um, you're slightly more agile. And you just aren't going to die. You are tanky. But other than that, it handles almost identical to the base plane. Just with some minor improvements. And as for the non-lock, I mean, it'll take a little bit longer for you to lock onto things. But you're not going to be going up against aircraft for the most part anyway. And with R RCL, you aren't locking onto ground targets at all. So you won't notice the uh, uh, handicap of uh, longer lock-on times. And as for Wingman AI, I I think Sly was the one that first mentioned it. And I fully agree with that sentiment. I think Shamrock is an overcorrection from Ace Fly's Wingman AI. Enemy down. People thought they were too ineffective. So with Ace 6, they're like, well, um, we'll crank that AI up to 11. And it shows. Enemy forces have been Personally, I like it. Areas. Um, That's enough dancing for today. Time to get on home now. I could have danced a few more numbers. I'm still dancing here. Go ahead and leave without me. Don't give me that sky, kid. It's past your bed. Alrighty. Three down, three to go. Now we start getting into the crazy Arby's, now that livery designs. Power and we now all um, we've got. We go from black to pink. Remember, real, real pilots fly pink A-10s. Um, the Flamingo Wing, it's a monotone color, pink aircraft. It's supposed to be a sky painting aircraft that they left with live ammunition. <laughs> um, all your missile trails are now pink. And from the stats, each main stat is unchanged, except for the air to air and air to ground, which are maxed because um, we have an additional 600 Sidewinders. Yeah. Tell us, which plane should I pick? 600 Sidewinders. How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time but it will off. fly and handle exactly like the base plane. You just have an ungodly amount of weapons. All planes, listen up. Our forces are completely surrounded over a wide area. We've got six sectors of operation to concentrate on. And I will show you with the position. missile trails that they look like. We better move. Our forces could get wiped out at any second now. That's right. Pink is on its last legs trying to keep them covered. Return it's so supplies. No use fighting on an empty stomach. <laughs> I want to say it's like so anime. Pink death. Shamrock's engaging. We have radar lock on.
But to be honest, I'm not all that much of a fan of the colored or the monotone colored aircraft. Just because they feel exactly the same as the base ones. It's just that they have a gimmick of colored missile trails and maxing out the sidewinders. Enemy tank has been destroyed. Which is all well and good. I don't know, I mean, it just kind of doesn't hold the same amount of oomph. But I know you guys get a kick out of the last two aircraft. Garuda team, initiate close range air support. Get out there and hit what you can. Lost some heads, talisman. Take care of business. Dance with the devil. Stoby. The Stobies are after our runway. Ah, uh, yeah. We are going to be doing the waifu aircraft. But that's the last one. Still have one more before it. Did that not hit you? Uh, no, there's no Zoe A10. Shamrock killed a Strigan. Even in an A-10. You send Shamrock to kill a flanker, he kills a flanker. <laughs> well, I don't know if there is a Zoe A-10 in... Strangely history, there might be. I don't remember. But there isn't one of, that's not one of the DLC aircraft for a six. That I know for a fact. Paint color scheme was applied to early photo reconnaissance Spitfires for high altitude work. I wonder why. I, I, I don't follow the logic behind it. Operation Spacer down, but stay alert. 
The worst is yet to come. Yellow Jacket, Fire Battalion. The worst is yet to come. We would not. We would have died. Ah, yeah, I could see that. Early morning or late after or late evening reconnaissance. Yeah, pink would make sense. <laughs> Shamrock's still killing Strigans. I mean, I'm in an A-10 went over, and it's not the distant thunder, so yeah, the sky is yours. Anti-aircraft gun destroyed. Where did those emotes go through? Okay, it went through that time. I have no idea what I was going to go through. All I can say is Twitch is being Twitch again. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Alright, well, I have no idea what. I think Twitch is just being drunk again. Oh, hello! Strigan went boom and pink cloud. This is Estevakian pride. Um, I'm sorry, but I am not impressed. All forces keep the pressure on. Come on, go faster!
No rescue for you. Only pink death. Launching missile. See the missile of the gun. Take your pick. I tagged one. Careful now. The enemy has you on radar. Seeing allied attack, I'll uh, the, the Macross Missile Massacre always brings a smile to my face. You do realize that, uh, your defenses aren't really screaming will of iron, it's more like will of wet tissue paper. Target and fire! Alright! That was Some the Flamingo Wing. Time to get on home now. Feels exactly Time like the uh, base plane, except it pinked. Don't give me that sky kid, it's past your bedtime. We have two more aircraft left though. Besieged now that our unit has been freed. This we now all All right. Who's ready to get in the festive spirit? Because our next aircraft is Christmas in June. Happy holidays! All seemingly unaffected by gravity, even during inverted flight. Exceptional aerodynamic performance is achieved at the expense of this aircraft's otherwise characteristic durability. This is an A-10 of a different breed. <laughs> We're not to the waifu yet, Starscream. We've got two more aircraft left, including this one. Um, Stat-wise, we get a plus 20 to our speed, making this the fastest A-10 of them all. Um, our stability is also super maxed. Um, however, it comes at a cost of a minus 40 to our defense, so they stripped off all the armor, but we're as light as a feather. Also, our missile trails are now um, gold, Towson, I believe. Which plane should I pick? How about my weapon? Are we ready to fly with Garuda team? Time to take off. But with boost to speed and stability, 
This might actually be a good dogfighter. We'll have to see. All planes, listen up. Our forces are completely surrounded yeah. over a wide area. We've got six sectors of operation to concentrate on. Use your radar to Look at that. Enemy position We're barely falling down. We better move. Our forces could get wiped out at any second now. That's right. Our ground unit is on its last legs trying to keep them covered. Return to base if you need supplies. No use fighting on an empty stomach. <laughs> Yep, gold. Route one, destroy enemy aircraft. Shamrock's engaging. Yeah, we are not losing altitude. Uh, when we stand on our wing. Normally, all aircraft have that problem where they lose a little bit of altitude whenever they roll because of weight. But not this one. Shamrock, kill. Kill a Strigan. Why uh, rocket launcher these uh, choppers here? What happens if we stall? We're stalling, but we're not falling. That's... We can basically hover! This thing can hover! Just like the, the Shin did in A7, we can hover, but we also don't have any defense, so if we get hit while we're doing it, it's going to suck. Laughs in here, here. <laughs> God, the A-10 is such a great aircraft in this game. Alright, gun train. <laughs> Stay 
stationary RCL platform. The Estrabakian gun train's been destroyed. Excellent work. Um, the only A6 mission with uh, hairs is the uh, is Ragnar Fortress. Had I known about that, I would have done it. But I didn't know that there, this thing could hover. That hilarious. Dragon Busters have lost about forty percent of their forces. They can't do this alone. Uh, I don't think so. bad thing Enemy about this aircraft. You have no defense. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Sweet! single cannon shell that is how paper thin our defenses are that's in order to get this amazing stability we had to literally strip off all the armor Strigan's, one Strigan's gone. Enemy forces within oh boy. The airspace have been eliminated. Nice work. Thanks for the great air support. Oh, a lot to the team. Retreat now. We can't afford to lose the entire unit. We've received a telegram from HQ Command. You're to go after an S-24 
Slovakian unit that's just started pulling out of action. We have a lot better at chasing than being chased. Boom! <laughs> Let's have a right over. Alright, we're gonna land, repair. Gonna be on. I think all the strings are gone. That's good. I love how the RCL just nopes whole swaths of enemies out of existence. It's like, nope. This mission is going well. All forces keep the nope. pressure on. All praise our Lord and Savior, RCL. Enemy forces have been eliminated from the mission areas. That's enough dancing for today. Time to get on home now. I could have danced a few more numbers. I'm still dancing here. Go ahead and leave without me. Don't give me that sky, kid. It's past your bedtime. Make a scary mother go <laughs> There we go. Now we we we're stalling, but we're not. We're going up as we stall. That's hilarious. 
Our besieged unit is not this boost. We now have an open path to create all. All right. And now our final aircraft. The one you've all been waiting for. I know it. You know it. I mean, I technically really don't need to showcase it, but if I didn't, I think y'all would uh, riot. The Driftor Master, or the Drift Hog 9000. The Idle Master SP. This unusual aircraft is brought to you by our friends at 765 Productions. Its unique weightless feel is addictive once you get used to it. Um, now, unlike most waifu aircraft, um, the uh, this idle master it isn't a specific idle master. It's kind of representing the group as a whole. Therefore, its um, stats are basically based off of 765. Um, our defense is unchanged. We get plus 20 mobility. Just slightly under that of the, uh, of the Distant Thunder. We have increased the speed by 10 points. We've maxed out our offensive capabilities. And all this comes at the cost of minus 45 stability. Uh, that's even more than the Thunder Shark. However, because we also increase speed, what that gives us instead of I'm so thick and chonkers, I'm falling out of the air, out of the sky at all times. This one basically gives you um, uh, deja vu, <laughs> massive Eurobeat. Uh, hello, Gun Mage. Thank you for contributing to the uh, um, evil Mass Effect playthrough. Oh, you got a new ha a new emote, Van Hammer. <laughs> Bunk. But yeah, um, this one's quirk is drifting. We will be Tokyo drifting all the time. So feel free to sing uh, "Deja Vu" to yourself, you know, from Initial D, because that is what we are going to be doing. Which plane should I pick? How about my weapon? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. I that that that'd be awesome. The deja vu sound. Use your radar to check enemy position. Into the moon, I see it's in the distance. Try to. That's right. Our ground unit is on its last leg, trying to keep them covered. See in my eyes. Can't you see that? No use fighting on an empty stomach. All right. <laughs> Tokyo Drifto. <laughs> Garuda team, initiate close range air support. Get out there and hit what you can. Bust some heads, talisman. Take care of business.
Oh, this is so much fun. I still say that uh, the drifting completely screws with the enemy AI. They have no idea how to counter it. Deja vu, I've just been in this place before. Higher on the street, and I know it's my time to go. Calling you is the search of a mystery. Standing on my feet, it's so hard when I try to be me. Wow! Down, 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 Although it is really hard to get these damn choppers. Now what I've learned is that the best, easiest way to kick the uh, drift into overdrive is to turn and yaw in opposite directions. Grass gets DMCA'd. That would suck. Deja vu added. <laughs> nice. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Targets within Operation Space are down, but stay alert. The worst is yet to come. Just drifting out of the missiles. About forty percent of their forces. They can't do this alone. Lower your landing gear and prepare for touchdown. 
I lost track of where I was. <laughs> That's the danger of the drift. It's so easy to lose track of where you are. Catch me if you can, Strigan! Fear the drift! There goes the last trigger. Oh boy. Oh boy. Woohoo! This mission is going well. All forces, keep the pressure on. Another Bert. It defends me! I basically did a 180 with that rocket. The threat level for remaining Estevakian forces is about 40%. level 
Alpha remaining Estovakian forces is down to about 20%. All planes, this is a hell of a dance. Enemy facility taken out. Nice. Really love this aircraft. Alright, and that's all the A-10s, so to what's over. left is I my rankings. Now that our unit has been freed, this we now all pilots, best of luck. All right. So there's seven A10 variants, and we're gonna I'm going to list them off in my ranking from worst to best. At the bottom, number seven, is the Thunder Shark. Um, I like the livery itself, but in my opinion, this is too heavy. You don't, and I'm. This is gonna sound weird for me to say this. This has almost too much firepower for its own good. You don't need that many rocket launchers because. Um, usually return lines or frontline airfields exist and given how much damage you can do with a single volley with the A-10 you might you probably don't need to reload um, but the penalty to its speed and mobility and more importantly stability in my opinion, just makes this too heavy to fly. I don't enjoy flying it, so it's at the bottom. And all that extra defense isn't going to help you when you keep scraping your, uh, or essentially pawn scaping off the ground. Number six, the base uh, vanilla game. Or, uh, uh, A-10. Um, it is... It's just a general all-around good attacker. It's what the A-10 should be. Um, doesn't really need speed or mobility because it has defense and stability. It can tank anything that, you know, gets shot at it. And it is death to ground targets. This is the epitome of an attacker. Um, but, compared to some of the other variants, it it's just specialized. Um, number five is the Flamingo Wing. It's basically the vanilla A-10, but with 600 extra sidewinders and everything is pink so um, the only reason why it ranks higher than the base is because you have extra missiles so it's an improvement um, number four the Rosgrees um, this one is how you do or er, this is a much better version of the base A-10 and the fact that um, it does enhance its performance and uh, maxes out its defense. This thing almost cannot die. Um, the drawback is, is that you won't be able to lock on to things as well. Oh no, you have a rocket launcher that doesn't need to lock on your gold um, but other than that it's performance very funny I meant it enhances your mobility and speed 
um, which is something that, or at least the stability, not mobility and speed, that's a different one. But enhances your stability at no cost to your mobility and speed. So it's an all around better aircraft than the vanilla. Number three. Christmas. Um, this thing can hover, or almost hover. You can fly upside down or stall out with almost no negative effects. Um, and if there's no enemy target shooting at you, being able to hover and just mow things down with RCL is a godsend. The problem is, and the reason why I can't put it any higher than number three, is its defense is a it's a glass cannon, and it has no other major benefits other than to its speed. But mobility is still the same, defense is non-existent, and you have no bonus to your weapons. But, um, it's still fun to fly, and if, say, Shamrock is in a high-performance dogfighter, you can have him take out all the aircraft while you uh, have fun just being a stationary rocket launcher platform. <laughs> um. And then number two, it's the Idol Master. Now, before you guys go all crazy, the reason why this is number two is because of the drift. The drift is, is this is this uh, aircraft's best weapon and also its worst attribute, <laughs> because if you are not um, prepared even, and sometimes even if you are prepared for the chaos of the drift you can easily disorient yourself and end up slamming into either the ground a mountain a bomber a ship chandelier it's very easy to, i mean i've done that multiple times you've seen me do it on stream um that being said, if you can master the drift, not much can really touch you. So basically, you are your own worst enemy with the drift hog. Um, and because of the inherent chaotic nature of the drift hog, I can't put it any higher than number two, as much as I'd want to. It is still the funnest aircraft in or A10 model to let fly um, I enjoy it so much and I really wish uh, that a7 brings back idol masters with quirks and this would be the number one thing that I'd want back the drift hog but alas and then finally number one The Distant Thunder. Um, Distant Thunder is the same glass cannon as the Christmas one, but what sets this one apart is it boosts your mobility and speed, along with actually cutting your. Er, with, it doesn't cut your stability, but with the boost of mobility, speed, air to air and air to ground it's an overall better aircraft and can actually dogfight um, while it will have problems with aircraft like Strigan or higher end aircraft mid tiers and below this thing will easily slice through like butter. All you need to do is just pull your nose ahead of them just enough to get that gun angle and then 
a few bullets is all it takes. Um, this is the aircraft, in fact, that I normally use against the Agaion. Um, but the the only downside is if uh, you try and dogfight a high end dogfighter, you're gonna you're gonna get hit and it will hurt because you are a glass cannon. But all in all, the Distant Thunder is reliably the best version of the A-10 in this game. Starscream, what's your opinion? Waifu number one? <laughs> yeah, um, so to recap, Distant Thunder, Idolmaster, Christmas, uh, Rosgrease, Flamengo, Bass, and Distant Thunder. Um, but yeah, uh, that's all for the stream today. Um, tomorrow, uh, in Infamous Second Son, we we uh, kick out or we eliminate the DUP communicate or comm centers, as well as go after the video powers um, to uh, get the last one. Um, then Wednesday, Floof and I hopefully complete uh, Commander Lilith in the fight for Sanctuary. So, uh, that will hopefully be the last Borderlands 2 stream. I want your tacos. Fine. I will go even slower, Starscream, just for you. No. Um, Thursday, Carolina fights, uh, or Carolina brings down the sky in the Legend of Carolina Shepherd. Community challenge, 75% complete. <laughs> Thank you, Starscream. Um, Friday, uh, we begin the next series of Ace Combat um, uh, streams. So far, the leader is Ace Combat 7 Enemy Ace Stream, although the uh, Ace Combat 5 Chat Decides 2.0 is starting to to gain on them. Um, the poll on my Discord at Ghost Eye is will be considered live through Thursday. So make your voice heard for that one. Um, Saturday we uh, Piper finishes up or having finished up uh, Palavan we're going to head to Sir Kesh to meet Rex and try and bring the Krogan into the fight against the Reapers. Um, and then next Monday, Floof and I begin the Zombie Army Trilogy. Um, and then the next time that we get around to the A6 DLC stream, there'll actually be two aircraft that we do. The Tornado and the Hornet. Because the Tornado and the Hornet don't have that many DLC aircraft. The Tornado only has two. The uh, Raging Shark and the Rosgrees and the Hornet only has three. The Scarface, Rosgrees, and the Waifu. But anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, there hasn't been a Guide the Raid. So we're just going to go ahead and end it. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. And Starscream, enjoy your tacos. <laughs>